Good afternoon, I'm Mary Ellen, and today I am going to do a tag video that my friend, Mary, from the channel Glitzy Fritzy, encouraged me to do. I thought I'd already done this, but I went back in my playlist, in my tag playlist, and I had done several YouTube uh, tags, but, but not this one. I'm going to link Mary's video below because she lists who created this tag. And then I also want to announce the winners of my last giveaway. So anyway, I'm gonna do this first. And I'm gonna be reading the questions. How do you feel about the term influencer and do you feel that you are one? I don't like the term influencer, but, and I don't think I am one at all. What I think I, I really want to do more than anything is to encourage and to leave an imprint of encouragement with you. You know, when you say influencer, there's good influences and bad influences, but um, I don't think of myself as one whatsoever. It's not. How did I decide to become a YouTube creator? Well, my childhood friend, Emily, her daughter had a blog, B-L-O-G, and then she'd put up a few YouTube videos. And at about the same time, Emily Noel 83, she was our local, newscaster in the morning. She quit her job at the television station to work on YouTube full time. And I thought, wow, I, I didn't even know she had a channel. So I went and I binged watched her channel. And that was probably in December 2013 or something like that. And I thought to myself, oh, I think I'm going to be the person that's 30 years older than Emily that's going to give reviews. But that's, that's how I got to start a channel. What is my experience with knowing other creators in life, good or bad? I think in 2017, I started a playlist, and a playlist is a group of videos that, you know, that relate to the same thing, and it was YouTubers that I'd met in 2017, 2018, 2019, and I don't think I had any in 2020, but I know there's at least a dozen women that I've met. The experience could not have been better. In fact, every person that I met was prettier in person than they were on, on on their videos, and that really surprised me. I also have some really good friends that I haven't met yet that I consider very close and dear to me, and we just haven't had the opportunity to meet up. So I've had good experiences. Do I accept sponsorships, and how do I feel about them? I have never accepted any money or any sponsorship or even accepted a product for a positive review. But I don't have a problem with anybody that I trust doing them, you know. So if I, if I don't trust somebody, I'm not gonna be watching them anyway. But I think it's wonderful. There have been a couple that I was tempted by because it was, it was things I already used, but in their information, they wanted you to, they wanted to check it, send the video to them and check it. And I thought, I don't need to do this. I don't, you know, I know if something's working for me and I might not be able to get you a real good side by side, but the people that have watched me long enough know that I'm gonna tell them the truth. So anyway, I, if Ebates would ask me or Rakuten or Ultra Rewards, I'd probably do a, a, a sponsored video because I like anything that saves people money. That's my favorite to do, but I don't have a problem at all. In fact, I'm happy for those people who do get sponsorships because I know how time consuming YouTube is. Have I had an experience with a brand that left a bad taste in my mouth? No, not really. I can't think of anything. The only thing that kind of bothers me is that I used to accept PR from It Cosmetics and they would send me things and I would give them away and they'd always send me the today's special value. And if I liked it, I'd go ahead and buy one for myself, but I would give my viewers the opportunity to have the today's special value. And I don't know if they didn't like that. I don't know if they quit giving as much PR, but um, that, that kind of bothers me. Right now, the only PR that I'm accepting is from BK Beauty, that's Lisa J, and I just have loved everything that she's made. And I'm just happy to receive products from her. And what I do is I buy it for myself and I give it to you. So anyway, if I love something, I want you to love it too or at least have the opportunity to love it. How do I deal with negative comments? Well, if it's just somebody's opinion and they, you know, I, I reply to them, I reply to them. There was one I got recently, I can see at the top of my screen when somebody leaves a comment 
and it said something, do you mean you drive with your readers on, or something like that. I could not find that comment anywhere. I looked all over. So if I would have replied to that, it wasn't a negative comment. But I've had some negative comments and I reply back. Whether they get it or not, I don't know. What's my biggest pet peeve when it comes to comments? Well, I'm really upset about this. Nobody has accused me of having uh, procedures, fillers, plastic surgery, in a long, long time, so I guess maybe my skincare isn't working as good as it used to be. But I mean, I always really kind of liked it when people said that because it made me feel like my skin looked good. But I really don't have any true pet peeves. I'm just joking about that. What is my favorite part about being a YouTuber? I like just talking about what I want to talk about. I like saving you money. I like just sharing with you anything in my life that is helpful. It may be helpful to you, it may not be. I like to be able to say this enriched my life or made my life easier and anything, whether it's makeup or not, anything that makes me happy is a beauty item and I do have makeup on today and I feel like a duck out of water. I do, I I wanted to put it on because I haven't, but anyway, I, I, I'm wearing it today. What is my least favorite part of being a YouTube creator? It's probably looking at statistics. It is so discouraging <laughs> when you put out content content, and you open the page because you have to open the page to get to your comments and it tells you where your video is ranking in your last 10 videos. Well, of course there's gonna be 10 of 10, but that that is, uh, I don't like that. I wish they didn't even put it there and I haven't found a way to not see it but that's probably my least favorite part about being a YouTube creator. Do you edit your own content? And if so, do you enjoy it? Yes, I of course I edit my own videos. Every video I do, it is my goal not to do any edits. <laughs> well, that's where you get those things in the end. Those are the things that I say wrong. Sometimes I can't get it out. Sometimes I'll just write it in here what I meant to say. And you would be surprised how tired I am of seeing myself and hearing myself. When I'm done editing, it's just taking clips out and putting like transitions. That's all I do when I edit. I'm, I'm just sick of it. I don't even want to watch the video once it gets put up. Where do I draw the line in regards to sharing on social media? I don't go on Facebook. I, I recently put up a photo on Instagram. I don't really know how to reply to comments on Instagram. I know how to heart, but a friend of mine sent me a, a nice long Instagram message and I just stumbled across it about four or five days after she sent it. So I'm, I'm not very good at that. I don't want to say the city that I live in. I don't want to say just recently I've mentioned that my son's name is Jeremy and he's 47 and my daughter's name is Gretchen and she's 44 and she'll be 45 shortly. That's, I just came out with those, but that's, that's about as much as I limit. I live in Southern Illinois and I am not active on Twitter or any of that. Name one thing you wish you knew when you were starting out. I wish I knew how to do things technically. I don't, I, I do, I wish I would have known, but I didn't and I still film with an iPhone. And but that's probably about it. Is there any change you'd like to make in your content in the future? Well, truly, I'd like to get back to doing a video every Sunday, but that's highly doubtful, at least until the fall, but I would, I would like to do that. Every other Sunday will work for a while. What company collaboration is my dream? Oh, I, I love to do anything that I can get on here and tell you how to get the best deal possible. I'd like to know when Rakuten's percentages are gonna be up. I wanna know ahead of time when Ulta is having like 10 times points because I would love to share that with you and be able, so you can get some great deals on products that you love. What other creator do you admire slash want to work with? There are so many people. I don't really want, I don't do collaborations because I only do two videos a month. But I, there's so many women on here that I love. And anytime I mention somebody's name, I always link their channel below. And I would not mention their channel if I did not think they were worth watching. What kind of comment do you hate? I hate it <laughs> when people, and I don't watch these people anymore, but they're, they're, I mean, they act like you're stupid if you don't want it. Or, the, you know, they're pushing 
all these must-haves or things that are so expensive that you're like silly if you don't want to buy it. And and like even like an honest review, well, if I like the person, it doesn't bother me if they <laughs> if they have honest review in the title. But like, is that, is that opposed to a dishonest review? You know, I like people just to tell it like it is and, and go from there. Have you ever had to deal with cancel culture? And if so, how? No, I haven't had to yet. And I, hopefully I don't ever say anything that is taken wrong. But, you know, I mean, I always really, when I edit my videos, I make sure that I don't say something that would offend someone. And that's all there is about that. And I tag anybody to do this that would like to do it. I would love to hear what you have to say. I've had several people ask me about my bookcase. This is a barrister bookcase, and it was my grandfather, my paternal grandfather's, and he died in 1925. And it comes apart, and it, I do have the doors that go over it. They're clear glass, and you lift them up and they slide in, and I just love it. So uh, that's, that's what's been back there. And before I announce the winners of the $375 e-gift card or PayPal deposits, I want to mention something else. I had two people that wrote in the comment section that they, that their name was called. This was in my skincare video, but I haven't gotten their addresses yet. So the, who I haven't heard from, from the address is Joe Salmon or Salmon. Joe won the Timeless and I'm gonna type in my email address at the top and I'd like you to send me your address, your mailing address. And the second person is Lori Amber Crombie and Lori won Dermatology and Lori, that's the same address at the top that I'd like you to send me a, an email. And, uh, and that's all, that's all there is to that. So when I went to randomcommentpicker.com, you know, you copy and paste all the comments and you hit a button and then you can filter out the duplicates and then you can also put the one word that you're looking for that once needs to be in that sentence or in the comment so I have people that spell favorite without a U and other people spell favorites with a U so I just search I just told them to search for F A V fave and uh, they came up with all the people that had F A V in there comments and I want to announce the winner. The first name that was popped up was Judy Pollock. Congratulations, Judy. The second name was L. Boyer. Congratulations, L. And the third person and the last was B. Noodles. Congratulations, B. Noodles. Just make sure you leave a comment below and I will let you know how to get in touch with me. But it is all good. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, I will see you in my next video. Take care. It's not, you know, and this, this enrich, and they said that, um, yeah, of course I edit, edit, and she will, no, she's not. No, pop, mm, I would love to, and then, okay, favorites.